Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use the replace function. So my first example, I want to replace this asterisk here with the character three. So I use the replace function. First argument is asking for the old text. Now the old text is the text that you want to replace characters within. So that's cell A4 for me, comma. Then the start number is the position of the first character within that text that you want to replace. So for us, the start position is three. That asterisk is the third character, comma. And then number of characters is the number of characters we want to replace. Now in this example, we only want to replace one character, that asterisk character. So my number of characters is one, comma. And the new text is what I want to replace that character with, that one character. So for me, that's a three. Close the bracket and press enter, and I get my new text string. Okay, let's try this one, equals replace. So the old text is the text that I want to replace characters within, comma. The start number is the position of the first character I want to replace. So the first character I want to replace is this first asterisk. So that's in position two, comma. The number of characters I want to replace is three characters, comma. And the new text is the characters I want to replace those three characters with. So that'll be two, three, four. Close the bracket, press enter. And you can see I get my new text string. Now with this example, I want to get rid of the nine nine in front of this text string. So replace again. So the old text is here. And my start number, well, the first nine is in position one. So that's my start number. The number of characters I want to replace is two. And the new text would be an empty text string, as in I want to get rid of the two nines by replacing them with nothing. Close the bracket, press enter, and I get my new text string. Now with this example, I want this to read as Paul McCartney. So replace again. Old text is here. Start number is two. I want to insert essentially AUL after that P. So my start number is two. The number of characters I want to replace is zero. I want to keep that space between the P and the M. And the new text is AUL. Now, because AUL is a text string, I have to put this in quotation marks. Didn't have to do that up here because we were replacing with a numeric value. Close the bracket, press enter, and I get my new text string. Okay, so those were the basic examples. Let's look at another. In this example, I want to replace the second character, which could be an L, an H, a J, a K, with PC, so that I can match these product codes with these product codes over here. So replace. My old text is here in column I, comma, start number. Well, I want to replace the second character, so my start number is two. The number of characters I want to replace is one, which replace that second character, comma, and the new text would be, and again, this is in speech marks, PC. So I close the bracket and I press enter. And you can see it's replaced that L with a PC. So if I copy that down, it'll do so for the other product codes. Now in this example, I just want to be left with the domain without the HTTP prefix. Now some of these addresses have got an HTTPS prefix, some haven't got any prefix, and some have got an HTTP prefix. So I want all of these text strings to start with www. And to do this, I have to use find and replace. So I'll start with find. Now what find will do is it will find the position of a text string within another text string. So I want to find the text www, and I'm using speech marks because it's a text string, comma, within this text. Now if I close the bracket and press enter, 
you can see that www is in position 9 within this text string. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can use that result within the replace function. So my old text is here. My start number, well, I'm going to start replacing text from the beginning of the text string. So my start number is 1, comma, and the number of characters is the number of characters returned by the find function. Now, if you remember, the find function returned 9, but I only want to replace 8 characters. I don't want to replace that W, just all the characters to the left of it. So what I can do is I can put minus 1 at the end of that find calculation. Comma, the new text will be an empty text string. So basically, I just want to get rid of any text before www. If I close the bracket and press enter, I can copy this down, and you can see that it works for the other web addresses. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully, that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.